So could you firstly define the term Ramadan? Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulillah, wa ala ali wa sahbihi ajma'in. The word Ramadan is derived from the Arabic word Ramida or ar ramad which means intense scorching heat and dryness. It's also derived from the Arabic word Ramda, which means sun-baked sand. In Islamic terminology, the word Ramdan, it signifies the intense heat in the stomach due to thirst. When a Muslim fasts, the thirst that is there, it produces heat in the stomach, which is defined as Ramdan. Again, Ramdan, it has another meaning. It means that the good deeds, they scorch the sins and the evil of a Muslim. So Ramadan is a month in which the sins are scorched away by the good deeds, like how a sun scorches the ground in the same way. And heat, normally, it helps in forming, molding, or reshaping virtually every matter. In the same way, Ramadan helps in molding, shaping, and reforming the spiritual and the moral aspects of the human being. That is the reason we term this word as Ramadan. Second definition of terms, if you like, is Saum or fast, as it's sometimes or mostly it's translated in English. Um, could you shed some light on what are the implications of the term fast or Saum? Saum is Arabic word, which is singular. Siam is plural. Saum or Siam in Arabic is derived from the word Sama, which means to abstain or to restrain from the normal things, whether it be eating, drinking, or talking. And a person who observes Saum or abstains from these things is called as a Saim. And this word is used in the Quran, in Surah Maryam, chapter number 19, verse number 26. When the angel speaks to Mary, may Allah be pleased with her, who is the mother of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and this word is used. And if you read this word, it says that I have vowed to fast to Allah. But here, the meaning of the word psalm, fast, doesn't mean refraining from eating or drinking. It means refraining from speaking. Because when we go to the context, when we read one verse before in the Quran, Surah Maryam, chapter number 19, verse number 25, it says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Mary, may Allah be peace with her, that shake the palm tree towards yourself and the ripe dates will fall. And the next verse, Surah Maryam, chapter 19, verse 26 says, eat and drink from them. And then it says that when you meet any human being, Tell them, I have vowed to fast for Allah, and I will not speak to any human being. So because here it says about speaking, the word psalm used here means that to abstain from speaking. But the word psalm in Islamic terminology, in the Islamic Sharia, it means a person who does an act of worship, and with intention, he does it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he or she abstains from eating, drinking, or nourishment, as well as from sexual intercourse or from lustful semen ejaculation. In short, the word psalm in Islam means a person who abstains from the fast breakers. And the fast breakers, the things that break the fast, are food, whether taken by mouth or by nose, or drink, any kind of drink, whether it be water, milk, fruit juice, any drink taken from mouth or nose, or any nourishment for the body taken from any source, as well as abstaining from a sexual intercourse. In short, it means abstaining the stomach and the private part. This is what it means Islamically. And this is the basic meaning. But if you go ahead with the broader meaning, it does not mean only abstaining the stomach and the sexual part 
from the things that break the fast, it even means that along with the fasting of the stomach and the sexual parts, there is fasting of the tongue, of the eyes, of the ears, and the other limbs of the body. That is the reason when we use the word psalm, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 1903, our beloved Prophet said that a person who does not abstain, does not leave false action and false speech, obscenity, etc., Allah does not require of him to abstain from food and drink. That means, beside abstaining from food and drink, you also have to abstain from false speech, false actions, etc. And this message is further repeated by beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the Sahih Hadith of Sahih Targib, volume number one, Hadith number 1068, our beloved Prophet said that a person, while fasting, when he abstains from food and drink, he should also abstain from false speech, from obscene language. And if a person gets angry, and if he argues with him, or fights with him, he should say, I am fasting, I am fasting. So if we look at it, when a person fasts, there are basically three things that he should abstain from. Number one is the stomach and the private parts. They should abstain from things that break the fast, that is food, drink, and sexual act. The second is that the other parts of the body, the tongue, the eyes, the ears, the limbs, even they should fast. Fasting of the tongue means a person should abstain from backbiting, should abstain from slandering, from telling a lie, should abstain from gossiping, abstain from rumor mongering, abstain from vulgarity. Fasting of the eyes means he should abstain from looking at things which are unlawful. Like when he says a Naam Mehram, he should lower his gaze. He should not watch un-Islamic movies or un-Islamic things. Fasting of the ears means he should abstain from hearing things which are haram, which are prohibited. Like abstain from listening to music, abstain from listening to songs which are un-Islamic. So this is the way how the other parts of the body also fast. And the third thing is the fasting of the heart and the mind. They should abstain from things which take away person from the worship of Allah, from the dhikr of Allah. So this overall is the meaning of the word psalm. Subhanallah, it certainly has a lot more involved in it than I was expecting. Thank you. Dr. Zakir. 